It is good news that Jesus understands you, but when you are suffering, when you are struggling, you need more than understanding. It may be a comfort to have someone share your misery, but that does not necessarily help you out of your misery. What you ultimately need in addition to understanding is someone who has been successful where you are struggling and is able to help you through your trials and temptations. See, when you go to a physician, you are not looking for mere understanding. If you come to the doctor with a broken arm and the doctor says, oh, I broke my arm once too, and gives you a sympathetic, empathetic look and sends you on your way, you're going to be disappointed with that treatment. Now, you want a doctor who understands and knows how to fix it. If you're going hiking in the Rocky Mountains, you want a trail guide who's actually walked these paths and knows the way out. Otherwise, you will be wandering around for a very long time. And this is Jesus. He not only understands your weakness and temptations, He has shared your frailty, he has faced your temptations, and he has succeeded against them. And so as verse 18 says, for because he himself has suffered when tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. And this is is one way that I believe the love of the gospel, the love that is shown forth in Christ, is much better than the love that is offered in this world. So you will hear in our culture, and this, this is a good desire, it is a longing and desire to help those, to bring them in who have been ostracized, who have been rejected, who have been hurt, who are struggling in various ways. But our culture's answer to this is to simply say, oh, we welcome you and we just accept you the way you are, and the way you are is wonderful. But what if there are some things that are wrong? really wrong. I don't want a a love that just accepts my brokenness. I want a love that can transform that brokenness, that can heal me, that can make me new. And that's the love of Christ. He does not just welcome all that are hurting and struggling. As he welcomes them, he renews them. He changes them. That is better love. And that is the love of Christ. He does not leave you in the same state in which you come to him. And so this is another encouragement to fly to Jesus whenever you, are suffer, whenever you suffer or are tempted. He has been there. but He never gave up and he never gave in, which means he knows how to sustain you as well. So brothers and sisters, when you are tempted to give up, you are tempted to look for another road, I would ask you to consider Jesus, the suffering Savior who helps the helpless, who fully identifies with you, who understands you, who is not ashamed of you, and who is fully equipped to bring you into his glory.